Hi guys, I'm Brett from Hearns Hobbies. I'm not. You are in fact Tony Gray, and we are carrying out episode two of the Tamiya BBX build. And what a fabulous build it has been so far. Uh, we've had, had a bit of a break in after uh, the first build and I've been looking forward to getting this thing together. How cool is it? It's, that is really, it's really nice. It's just mega no? cool. It's good having old school design, but with new mm. school technology. And engineering and And, and plastics quality too. The plastics quality is so much better the, than the old than stuff. Than anything to me, mate. And Even than the MB01, let's be honest. It's a, a bit of yeah. a step up. Yeah, this is this is this is good. It's really good. I'm enjoying. I've enjoyed the first part. This, despite this is, having this to work, get... despite having to work with you, <laughs> well, that's a, I add to it. <laughs> yeah. Now we did in fact finish up to. Here we go. Back here, step ten. Now it's asking us about putting some radio gear in, which we've got, but we're not going to do. Yeah, I think we can. We can just drop the servo in later. So that's something that you can do. I think in your own sweet time. And then we'll recap on that. But yeah, we will in fact get ahead and get the steering bell cranking, get the servo support tin, some turnbuckles, and get on with it. And get the roll cage on. That's that's, that's what makes that's it. That's when cool. it starts to look like a buggy. I, so I keep what? looking behind us, and we've got the uh, the blockhead wild one there with a the cage on, and I just yeah. go, yes. You do love a bit of cage action. I love, love a bit of cage action. Yeah. Not Nicholas Cage though. No, know? not Nicholas no. Cage. No, he's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, what what bell cranks? I Bell crankage. Bell cranks. Right. Here's some that you've... I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit with my nine steps. Yeah, you know. and just chop half your finger off. I'll try. That will... That was good. Am I being picky? Yeah. It's, it's my car though, so I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't wait for you to... We've got some bearings going in here. Yep. Is that right? And these little, these little hat washy things. I haven't driven on an off-road track since April last year, so it'll be... How come? Been other shit happening. That's how it goes. Is it? So, my first off-road for a while will be when I run this. It will, won't it? Yeah. But I'm very keen to run it. I love the way that the bearings and everything just fit so nicely. The there's a degree of precision with everything. No? No, there is. It's really good. In the old days, not so much. Although to me, have always been pretty good. They've been the leader of the the game, no? Not always in the competition field, but that hasn't always no. been their bag. No, that that's not how. Oh, they roll. look at this beautiful little recess in here. I'm going to zoom in on that. That's impressive. These are the kind of touches that are really standing this apart. They've got this tiny little recess here. And that's so it fits nicely on the bell crank and on the inner race of the bearing. So it's not going to crush. That is really, really nice. Yep. It's and someone then, thinking about it. That is the little steps that you we don't usually see from, from Tamiya. Is that fair to say? It's fair to say. I'm looking for the A parts tree because I know we're going to need it. The A know. parts tree? Yeah. It could be this one. It's got A stamped on it. Well, that could be a giveaway. Yeah. Because I'm seeing these A12 washers that I think we need. I'll use these dodgy god hand ones that... BJ is right. These have been absolutely mauled by someone. Yeah, but not deliberately, probably. No. No? Well, I don't know. But it's... Mauled nonetheless. These are not cheap. Even here, they're not cheap. Even through the, this fine establishment here. But nevertheless... Don't like seeing quality tools treated that way. And I'm not talking about you either. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say, I thought... Maybe maybe Richard, your brother. Well, that's, that's all right, we can do that. Yeah. What have we got? We've got some 3 by 8s going in. Some steering arms. Tools. I'm trying to actually keep ahead of you this week as opposed to just, just standing around talking shit. And then no, no, that's all then, right. Then you needing bits. That's fine. I'm a little bit out of kilter this week. Pretty excited for it though. I get pretty excited over pretty much anything these days. Really? <laughs> yeah. When you get to my age, everything's exciting. Let's have a little bit of a rethink about that. Oh? Huh? And put this on the right way first time. Well, second time now. Well. That's okay. 
I'm getting a lot of feedback on the MBO one build about people say how we used, how we had to keep changing things. See? But it adds to the build, doesn't it? Well, it adds to the length. <laughs> uh, Episode one of that car was um, that was a shambles. Was a shambles. Yeah. But we pulled it all together. Yeah. Episode five went up today, the final episode actually, because. Young BJ and myself finished off yeah. the last two. Yeah, it came up in my wife's YouTube feed. She said, this is, this is a car you built. Why is it Brett and BJ and not you? Because it's, it's the painting bit. It was the painting bit. And I know how you hate painting. <laughs> hey? You would have been much abuse at my paintwork, I feel. No, that's okay. I think we did okay, though. I think it actually presents really well. I think uh, certainly uh, when I took it down to Geelong to... To run, everyone was looking at it, but they, they're all in awe at what BJ did with that e engine. He did a really good little thing, didn't he? <laughs> he nailed it. This part here, A10, is that something that you've got on oh, your... No, I didn't see the A10. I'll... Here it is. I found it. You have found it? Oh. Here we go. It's cut off with the um, the mullard. And I need... nippers. Three by six. Eight, Just having trouble identifying it. That's a three by eight. Yeah, well, it's one of those, but shorter. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's safe to say. Yeah. It's very safe to say that it's exactly what it is. Uh, foraging. We talked about this foraging, didn't we? We did. One of our favorite pastimes. Hunting and foraging. Right here. We got a system going here already. Have we? We are on fire. And how have you been keeping this week? I'm mean, doing pretty good. So what we've got here is a little steering stopper, which is really nice. So the steering's not going to go over center. So it's like a lock. See that? Positive lock on the bell crank. Oh, that's a nice little Another thing. Another nice little so You could change the diameter of that and in fact change the amount of lock that you've got. I know that Yokomo do something similar on their top line touring cars, 10 scale. You've been to the track lately? Only been to Geelong for a bit of on-road. Yeah, what, what do you think of it? I like it. Yeah? It's a nice little track down there. Really good. Nice little good community, fun. isn't it? And it's a really, really, really laid back. And you're guaranteed of getting some racing in. That's what yeah. I love about it. Yep. You go down there, you're going to get to run. Um, and you sort of know that there is a little bit of adverse weather. Um, you know, I mean, we can't control the temperature. It's not necessarily fully climate control, but you know, no. you're not going to get wet feet or wind blown. Yep. You are inside. You're inside. It's good. And from where I live, it's only 40 minutes away. So that's a win. I'm jumping ahead of you here and doing yeah, a turnbuckle. Yeah, please do. I'm doing a turnbuckle. I know how and, much you love turnbuckles. And I, there's nothing in the world I hate more than doing turnbuckles. I'm going ahead and putting the steering posts in and I'm using a little bit of the strawberry jam. Yeah. Strawberry jammer. If we come out a bit wider here. The strawberry jam, um, I've said that three times now. Yeah. Thread lock. Well, it's because I'm trying to yeah. spill it everywhere. Interestingly enough, uh, my friends and I have always called it strawberry jam, thinking we were the only ones that did, but apparently it's worldwide. Yeah? Everyone calls it strawberry jam. Or oh, some people call it raspberry jam, but they're obviously weird. Could even be American. When did they call it jelly? Uh, that's a good point. No? I don't know. They don't have jam, do they? No. What about a conserve? Conserve? Yeah, I don't want a conserve. Marmalade? Also acceptable. <laughs> we could go on about spreads all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No? We're going to throw Vegemite in a minute. Oh, that's the associated black grease could be Vegemite. Is it? Yeah. That's the stuff in the... Um, in their diffs from memory. I'm the sure, thrust. I'm sure some associated freak will 
say, no, oh, it's not that, it's, it's, it's in the 601 tech kit. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You sound like you know all about it. No. Nah. You've I've, dealt with associated people before. Yeah, I've dealt with associated kits, I've had a few. One of your favourites? Uh, that was just a, at the time that they a were. moment the, in time. They were the cars to have. I've got three or four RC tens, obviously. As I have. think in the world of RC, I don't think there's many kits that probably haven't graced your bench. No, oh, I've been there, done that. I just wish I'd kept them all. And you had some. Well, what would you do with them? You can only drive one car at a time. That's what my I know. says. And that's why I sold all my old cars off, and, and the and the even the old new inbox kits because. So I'm not going to run them. There's not much point having them. We've got to get our... Um, I, think, I feel a G-Force coming on soon. The Genova? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm it's... Excited. I'm it's, excited. It's sitting to in the that, box. Because uh, I've, I've got a worthy adversary for such a... Such a kit. Mm -hmm. In the Yokomo. In the Yokomo. RO. RO. Well, the Genova is sitting at my house in the garage. I've opened the box, but I is haven't. Is that going to be fitting of a silver can, or is that going to? Oh, get a... I think I think that I think that's a silver can thing. Although it's probably um, an insult to Masami, who is obviously involved with the thing. Well, Masaki's not so well at the moment. No, I'd heard that, but he's getting on. So, but we can't have him. He's one of the godfathers of. Yeah, you know we're not even worthy to speak his name. Let's be honest. No. Imagine what he'd say watching us butcher a kit together. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even my oh, finest work. Oh, Brett's <laughs> on. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> no? Yeah. I like the fact that I don't need pliers to do these. Aren't they nice? Yeah. I do need a one and a half mil do hex driver, though, if you've got one over there, please, Mr. Gray. Yeah. Here's one. Here's one you've prepared earlier. Do we need to look at BJ while he's doing his? I don't know. I'm going to stab myself in the hand otherwise. Oh, well, that will make for good pictures. Yeah, why not? Looking good. I'm just having a look here at this. Getting some little turnbuckle happening for the steering. This is step 13. Unlucky for some. Not for but this. For us. Not for this little steering bell crank. We've got shit happening here. Is it? Is it moving? I feel that there's a new wind in the air, and I don't mean your flatulence. <laughs> I think. Uh, no, I'm pretty much under control today. Are you? Yeah. You had you been having your charcoal tablets? <laughs> yeah. Good. I saw them in the. It said, it said the charcoal tablet for flatulence. And what? What to stop it or give you it? <laughs> <laughs> A twenty. Servo mounts. Have we got those sneaking around somewhere? A yeah. parts tree twenty. Yeah, they are just there. Ah, uh, that's these ones. We'll use these ones until I find the other ones. Okay. You can guarantee there's going to be TRF ones for those. Nice or alloy, alloy ones. ones. Yeah. Blue. We got three by six in the bottom and three by eights in the top. Okay. That one's good. Just looking over there. Where do you think it's going to be the debut? Are you actually going to play with this car? Huh? Are you actually going to play with this car? Are you going to yeah. use it? I'm going to, I'm going to run it. You're going to run I'm it? I'm not saying I'm going to race it. No. But I will definitely run it. There's no question that I want to see what it's like. Because uh, Tony Pereira's got one too, so we'll... Uh, has he run his one yet? Or is he waiting I for you? I don't believe so. Oh, he's about there doing secret squirrel testing. I don't think he has. But we'll see. You've we'll been see. out doing secret squirrel testing even last week. Uh, yeah, just the yeah. Hey. But with one of your favourite vehicles. Yes. TTO2. Modified or has it been full defeated? Full boffined? No, no, no. It's um, out of the box, but it's an SRX kit. So it's got everything on it. It's got all the good bits, huh? It's got all the good bits. It's got all the good. I've had it sitting around once again in the garage for a long time. Was it a fresh build or is it just something that's been in a box? Like It's been in a box. I hadn't, hadn't built it. Oh, so it was a fresh build. So I actually built it last week. I went, oh. Let's go run in the TTO2 class. Nice little car. I like the TTO2 class. It's just very humble. Yeah. If but I the car, have a better car word. is surprisingly good. I've I, never I driven such a high caliber uh, one. We but had driven Dufina's one, which is 
has some Tamiya bits left. <laughs> not but, very many. But not very many. But uh, that was what prompted me to go ahead with this. Because um, we drove his one and go, oh my God, this is good. It actually doesn't drive like a TTO2. That's yeah. the best thing about it. He's yeah. built a TTO2 that doesn't drive like a TTO2. Yeah. Tim and I both drove it and said to Tim, I've got one of these at home. I think we need to build it now, which we did. I need you to go through your box of spares, and I'm sure you've got one or two of them at home, and find me some plastic shocks. For a mini. Plastic CVAs or? Yeah, just CVAs no. for a mini. Yeah. I want to try and get this um, a bass going. Okay. The MBO one. I think we're not doing it justice, just. Going to get it out for the Bendigo Classic oh, this year. I, I intend to, to, well, that was my kit that we built, but that came to you, but now we'll. Uh, there's another one here for you to take home today. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware that there's a, another one here now. <laughs> and I do intend to build it. Actually, I'm going to give it to Tim to build. Uh, you want to build properly the next one? Yeah, as opposed to what we did. <laughs> <laughs> that could and, have part of the problem of it not uh, handling at all. And I'll, I'll let him... Oh, turnbuckles. <laughs> Mr. Grey. Oh, look at yeah. that. Yeah, I'm, I'm once again... Built sli to scale. Slightly aroused. Arousal is not an option. It's guaranteed. Uh, no, it's an option for me. We've got some hmm. arms here. I can't, yep. That was just floating now. I'm assuming that's the right one. There's another, another one. one here. That could be a rear arm, that one. MC4. That's a close relation to MC Hammer. Is it? Yeah. Oh, this is a... Are you touching um, it, though? Oh, well, you can't touch this. That's what he said. I don't yeah. know that I believe him. No, I believe he did. Did you? I think he touched it too much. Do you think he knows Harvey? Doesn't everybody? <laughs> if they've been successful, they know Harvey. <laughs> How much of this can they edit out? None. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. There'll be some litigation heading our way. Why? <sighs> I'm not casting dispersions upon any. Oh, I get to use my favourite pliers. Excuse me while I do the old reach around. I've always excused you for that. <laughs> <laughs> got my little Aramax pliers here. I'm going to pop it on in. So I've got the shiny side down. Oh, that is a nice feeling. Very rewarding when that goes in. The front suspension arm, the pivot ball in there. Two, this is, I wish I could see this. This is number three here. The C4. Yeah. Front suspension block. Is that something that you've whittled away? No, not yet, because I'm just doing these, um, because... C4. We know. That's there's, over there's, there. There's another arm. There's another arm for me to insert my ball into. Again, just using the little pliers. Press down upon the... These... I've got to admit, oh, <laughs> they, are, they, they are the tool for the job. No? They are, they are awesome. They have been hand created for such for an environment. So I've got that on. Oh, we've got tiny little screws to go in there. Tiny little screws. I'm just looking for the next. The arm. Um, the hinge pin retaining screws. The HPRS. Is that what we're calling them? I just did. These seem to be a Phillips head. Do they look like a Phillips head on the diagram they in the instruction? They won't be a Phillips head. You know G they'll be a I've been looking screw. forward to getting your jizz in my hand yeah, again. Yeah, but my jizz is at home. Is it? We'll have to use an alternate jizz then. Yep. Do, you do exactly what we said not to do and use the Phillips head. <laughs> it's going to pose a problem yeah, though. I, I don't think I've got one available. I'm more surprised that there's Phillips head screws because everything else is a machine screw in this. 2.6 by 5. It's not actually showing the head. No. They've snuck it. <laughs> yeah. But that is a 2.6 by 5 and I'm taking it there. Uh, just let me find a screwdriver of suitable. Yeah. Do you want me to fill it? I'll, I'll fill in the dead air time. Well, oh, well, there wasn't any. That was easy. <laughs> oh, 
I was about to take my pants off again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll fill the, that air time, won't it? Well, it'll, it'll chop down the live viewers. Oh, there won't be any live ones on this, so that's okay. Bit of thawing going on over there. Ah, uh, just the god hands didn't do the job here, but it is on a rounded surface, so I can I can exclude them for that one. Yeah. Yep. I'm way over exerting. Huh? Pressure here to get that screwdriver to bite in. Yeah, just to make sure because it's gonna stab me in the little hand. Just, it's weird that that's a, a a Phillips head. When everything else you can clearly see are machine screws. Machine screws? Yeah. Hex head machine yep. screws. Although that wasn't a uh, machine screw, just with the filled head. I've gone all quiet. I've been trying to <laughs> Your concentrate. Your gut hasn't. <laughs> well, I've heard donuts before. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, BJ's failed to come up with the goods. I'm salivating in anticipation. Really? For a French ring? <laughs> a Walker's French ring? Oh. <laughs> so many double entendres available. Double entendres? Yes. Like, like Dick Van. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Van is definitely up and about. That's a thing. Is he still bringing you much joy and happiness? I, I assume it's a he. Yeah, well, I'm not really oh. sure. I've given it to Dick, yes. I had a gentleman approach me in the supermarket the other day asking if he could take a photo of his two children next to it. Yeah? He, his young boy really liked it. So I... I Bringing joy to the world. The, no? dick, the dick van. And I, I think that you've absolutely d nailed the design brief there, no? I believe I have. For Got those, so for those who were, weren't with us in, in original, in previous uh, episodes, I drive a Daihatsu deck van, which has plates that say DCK van. Well, people will be able to look you up now. No, that's okay. Most people know who you are anyway. Yeah, certainly that's... the sex offenders registry do. <laughs> Why is that not the right hinge pin on there? Oh, it's meant to stick you out a bit, right here. Yeah. I was looking it's to see if there, there was another retainer. No. That was uh, the uh, engineering terminology there. Mm. The sticky out a bit. And we're yeah. going to offer that up to the chassis. Yeah. Is that such a thing? Gonna marry yes. it on. Marry it on, and I'll go. Oh, you know what's next? What? A roll cage. This is something that you have been. Oh, I just like it. Pretty Cause... excited for. Is that right? Because certainly when I started, roll cage cars with a with a thing. Uh, We're talking M3 like AYK by... Viper. Ah, oh, these ones underneath. M three by eights. Mugen Bulldog. Bulldog. Yeah. That's quite a. Funny name for a car. Is that fair to say? Yep. So there's a couple of little bits I have to cut off this. I didn't think that was an M3x8. It's sort of demanding that I've opened every packet available. Yeah. Which is a little bit disappointing. After oh. recently completing a, a, a Yokomo build and every part was in every bag. Yeah. And I really enjoy that. That absolutely made. It's interesting how all the companies are different. And I suppose it's more just about that they don't really expect you to build them on camera and do it in a way that's super flowing. Yeah. Because you can, what do you call it when you get all the the parts out? Knolling. Knolling, that's right. But that's when you get them out and you line them all up. and Line them all up. Which, and is, which is what I do at home. Probably doesn't make for fantastic viewing though does it uh no because it takes you about an hour to line it all up for one step yeah but but my contention is that um it makes the build go quicker because you're not always looking for stuff that's true but it, some people say there's a degree of serenity available in doing the knolling i would definitely agree with that look at that uh, so i've got this one on here now i've got these two parts here the shock towers is that what they're called oh i assume they are i'm not sure front so, bulkhead it says front bulkhead so that's going to come in here and here with the screw facing 
It looks like it's about the size of the um, gearbox on the MIP RC10 four-wheel drive conversion. Yeah. Very similar shape and everything. They were very small, were they? Very tiny with a little what tiny diff that? inside. Was Try it good? I had one and I wish I'd, again, wish I'd never sold it. It was such a cool thing and they're worth an absolute mint now. Really? Yeah. People have been trying to get to use this more. Can you re-release them, re-release them? He doesn't have any of the tooling. You know that um, Dogfighter is coming back? Yes. That's pretty exciting. Indeed it is. I never had one back in the day. Now's your opportunity. I was a Kyosho man back then. Really? You were one of them? I was one of them. That's okay. Shoemaker initially and then moved to Kyosho. So you, you went something that was quite classy. And a bitch to build. To something that to was... To something that was so nice to build. Yeah. Kyosho's a... They were really popular then. Thanks they were to massive. Joel Johnson, yeah? Yes. And the JJ replica has just come out. That's come out again, hasn't it? Yeah. And there's a new release Optima Mid. A blue one. A, 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 a teal? A teal. Teal. teal? That's, a, that's Akira's colour. Akira Kagawa, who's the designer. And that was after, what year was that? Was that after? Oh, was it the 87 was that Worlds? That was 87 where, they, Worlds. where they had that car. Yeah, and like five, I think it was five or six Optima Mids in the, in the A. Didn't matter, Masami still won. Oh, because he was driving a good car. <laughs> well. Well, that was a shoemaker, wasn't it? Was it was a shoemaker. That he'd built like, that Masaki Pop, had built just a couple of nights before. Pops won, uh, sorry, Gil Lossi won in 80... Five, 85 with the Yokomo chain drive yes yeah the original dog the original the eight the wonder dog fighter yeah 834b is that right yeah i think i think that's it that was gil jr yeah yeah but pops had put a bit of work and into jay holsey won two wheel drive and he was at the recent worlds uh, there were i saw photos of him at the i worlds think a lot of the were week. there yeah he was he was there i saw a photo of him with um craig drescher It's all kicking off, huh? We've yeah. got the Worlds here in 2025. Yes. You'll be there. I'll definitely be going. I probably won't be competing. <laughs> this car will There's be ready not... by then. <laughs> yeah. well, we'll get it know. dialed in by then. <laughs> not at the right way. We'll get it dialed in by then. No. Look, be... front arms and bumper bar. I did go to the Worlds, at Worlds in 89 when they were in Sydney. Did you? I drove up for that, yep. Didn't race. Uh-oh. Look at that. Bit of cage action. It's... Again, not Nick. No? Not Nick. Not Nick? All right, we'll need that. We're going to need some A part, some more A part. And I've forgotten which is the A part. Oh, it's this one. Look what at that. What do we need? A10 and two A10s and an A11. Let's get the A11 out. I remember this. This looks a little bit painful. So I've got a captured washer there. Have you got my little parts here? A7. I'm just, I'm just doing the A10s and the A11, which are there. MC. Hammer. Hammer. Seven, here's your little. I'm going to need an even smaller screwdriver now. Two. Hey, let's go next level. Or neck level. A7, please, sir. A7, it's just there. Oh, why, thank you. I'm going to need two of them. I'll, I'll need to resort to the second A parts tree. So that screws in here, this little thing, and that's to retain the nut. I wonder how many people watch this video and turn the sound off so they don't have to listen to us. Um, Apart from all of them, obviously. <laughs> They'd be missing out on the experience, though. Well, it's more than half of the experience, isn't it? Yeah. Audio and visual excitement. I turned the sound off. I don't want to listen to us. Really? Because well, I've already heard it. I'm more worried if it gets you in the mood. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I That's all right. I attacked you with the god hands. Probably not the first time you've been attacked like that. No. Well, I wouldn't call it attacked. Nudged? I like, uh, I like Nylux. It's like a ring of confidence. 
isn't it? Yep. As opposed to just a flat nut, which offers little to no retention. Yeah, it's just If there. it rattles loose. Yeah. I usually thread lock the crap out of everything. <laughs> well, if you build it properly, they will come. Yeah. Uh, the speed control that you're using, will you be utilizing a little switch panel thing? I'm tipping probably not. I'm tipping I will. I'll you will be utilizing? Look. I can see it there and it's okay. got, it's a Tamiya speed controller, so it's going to have. Is on the right hand side, this side here. Yep. So I need T13. 13. And that is more of these little screws, MC hammers. I was looking forward to having Whoa. some leftover. Uh oh. We, we've, we've had a That's fall. It's all gone pear shaped. We can't have a fall at your age. Luckily, it wasn't me. If I fall, you'll just have to leave me there to rot. I'll eat your donut. Is that okay? <laughs> I'm vaguely aroused again. <laughs> <laughs> no, your French, your French ring. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm struggling getting back on my chair. <laughs> Don't crash, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, that's it. I was, I was on the wrong end. <laughs> oh, that's going to you have to, move, you have to mount the chair. Oh, you can put what, that, again? In, insert that holder there. There you we go. Were, we were looking for tea, weren't Your we? Your little perch. I'm okay tea. now. Tea. Under control? And not, not as yet, but I'm sure we'll get there. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm going to suggest that's yep, it. That I'm going to suggest that is definitely it. I am. Oh, these are going to be tiny little shock, sockets. Shock mounts a ten. There's two of a tens. Oh, and there's a nice little dress hat. Can I call it a dress hat? Yeah, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call put, it Frank if you want. Frankly, mm. I don't give a damn. Is that a thing? Part of me is tempted to go to the toilet knowing that I've still got the microphone clipped on. Just, <laughs> just for that oral entertainment? Just to provide the uh, a naked gun <laughs> moment. <laughs> naked. I don't know that you can say that, but we did. We went there. No, I'm talking the film. Oh! <laughs> Frank Drebin went to the toilet with a microphone hooked on. Frank Drebin. He would be have to be one of your idols, wouldn't he? Leslie Nielsen, fine actor. Comical slapstick at its finest. Yep. It's gone quiet now. Yeah. <laughs> We're listening to the tram. Is it? Yeah. Well, I think we need a bit of light and shade in the commentary anyway. I think people appreciate that. A bit of peace. Other, otherwise, so they can... the relentless amusement. It's too much. Yeah. The momentum. Yeah. I think we've come, please, please, no more. <laughs> no, they'll only turn us off. <laughs> I'd love to um, see the YouTube statistics that sh show how far people get through before they go, oh, I can't be bothered with this. We can actually see that. Can we? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We can actually see that. I know a number of people have called. And I think, funnily enough, I think they probably turn off and then get back on later and... <laughs> This is go. It's, surely this has got to get better. Yeah. <laughs> and invariably they're disappointed. It doesn't. The best is when they they walk away and leave their computer on. Aha! <laughs> Literally they don't know we're watching. What they don't know is we can see them. That's creepy. Yeah. Nice thought. Yeah. I'm sure our viewers love it. What does Mum think? Oh, okay. Got your entry in for the Vintage Classic this year? Ah, uh, the Vintage Classic. The, I got two events mixed up in my head. You mean this the, one? Uh, well, that's the Vintage the bash. bash. Yeah. I was referring you mean, you mean to the Bendigo the one? The Bendigo Classic. Uh, I'm not going. I'm not going. Put your foot no. down. Uh, no, uh, just that uh, my compatriots who I normally go up with... Are not available? Are not available. Either we all go or we don't go. That's fine. So that's how it works, so... Because okay. last year was was on the cusp of you getting your knee done. Yeah, well that was... And you was in great pain. Well that was what pushed me to uh, to go and get it done. No? Because I couldn't, I couldn't get up the stand. 
jam's running away from you. Do you think there's going to be some left at the end? Oh. I actually think that they've overcompensated. Oh, I think they have, but um, we've got a toaster here. Have we? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we go across the road and buy one or something. <laughs> we can try it out. We'll give BJ to try it. He can put it on his, he can, he's, can put it on his non promised he's, donuts. He's used to um, weird Asian food. So. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you're probably right. Yeah. No, I would suggest it's accurate. Accurate on so many levels. Yeah. So we can go ahead now and actually start assembling the cage on said vehicle. Three by tens, yeah? Yep. Ooh. Attaching roll cage is translated as fixation de la cage de protection. Now it's not really, well it is a structural part on this vehicle because it's a rear shock mount. But um, the, the body panels, the body work, mm. is not so. And there's people running them in various degrees of, of cage, <laughs> cage showing. Do you like yours fully sheathed? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you're going to have it fully protected? You may not, I'm not sure whether you're aware, you probably have seen, but um, Rio Inagaki, who runs the Optima House website, who's a real bit of a whiz and cab one, he designed a uh, cage thing to go on the early hotshot. So it replaces the chassis. Ah. Oh, so, so it's just a full so cage. It's like a Ducati. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, and trailer uh, three. Uh, Ash McClurkin has got one. Ah, oh, that's what... So right. it's, it's, a, it's a really good thing. You did a fantastic job of it. it I was trying to figure out what Ash was banging what, on about the other week. We spent yeah, well, the day well, at the track. Well, yeah, well, that's what... With much fun. It's always hard to work out what Ash was going on about. I'm fairly confident he won't, won't be watching this. Uh, he might at some stage. Oh, uh, well, Dafina will and he'll tell Ash. Will he? Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. I think we're going to drop as many names as possible. Yeah. So they can all, oh, they, no? Yeah. So they can, everybody can feel involved. Yeah. Because it is really a community project. Can I make up some names as well? Why not? Yeah. Well, we united the driver of this vehicle. Circumference. Circumference. We could do a driver figure like what? Like what Ash did with his, which uh, which has the red mohawk just like his. Well, I think you, uh, my um, comical vehicle is in fact oh, modelled. Helmetless pinkers. Helmetless pinkers. Yep. Biggest pinkers. Yep. M three by tens. Now this is a really good feature that I don't agree with. Hang on, it's a good feature, but you don't agree with it. Yeah. Now they've put washers in these shock towers, and it's not very Tamiya. It's like they've found something at the final stages of prototyping and they've spaced it out with <coughs> six washers. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Yeah. So I suppose it is part of the adjustment of the platform. I'd be um, tempted to use a bit of strawberry jam on those just to hold them together. But they're going so into plastic. No, I just meant when you put it ah. <laughs> to stop it falling out when you put it together. That's all right. I've used the power of gravity and okay. defiance. But yeah, those washers, if you locate them in. Yeah, that's. That is the front shock tower, half of. Oh. Oh. That made a, um, a not nice sound, eh? A very mechanical. No, it's okay. Guttural sound. You can't break nine step. Well, you probably can. No. But <laughs> you probably can, and. I'll take that back, but it didn't. No. I wouldn't expect that to break it, and it didn't. No, it just sounded like it broke. I think that was my will. Yeah. That could have been my will. Your Willie. Or, or pride. Willie, no, he's not here. <laughs> what have we got here? Uh, More of the same, I've got most. Um, I think there was a, a mount or a bracket here, and there's two more washers. What screw was that? Was that another? Is that an M10? Mm. Can I call it an M10? Mm. Call it whatever you Could want. Could you go back a step or forward a step? What's retaining here? M8. Okay. Well, we've got the J the J1 that we put that in. The J1. J1 is a cross piece. I need some more it screws. Goes, goes off here. 
Oh, we're on the sea part, and you've got the sea over there. Sea parts? You took it earlier. What do I need? What do I need? I don't know. Oh, well, what are you looking for? That's an R part. Definitely not a C part. We're looking for... Do you do have a box over there with... No more screws. ...parts in it? Oh! I've got, I've got parts. It's the J1 part that we were looking at, which goes across here. Yeah, and... Uh, and it was sitting here, but now you've obviously eaten it. <laughs> There's there it a good is. chance I've eaten it. There it is. I'm trying to find another M8. M8 screws. That's right. The, it goes, it it go, the J1 goes across here. Yes. With two washers either side. Yep. Once again. Oh. That's a 3x10. Three 3x10? By ten. Three by ten. Yep. Oh, so the other side's an M8. 3x10 this side. Oh, button head. Button. 3x10 button head. Right. Oh, right, heard, right, right. I've heard you called that before too. Well, it's not the worst thing I've been called. No. Not even today. Here we go, look. I like the way they put this. Do you know why they put that there? So you can grab it with your little crossbar. Yep. Yeah. I wonder how many of these wrenches have been made Doesn't over work. the years. <laughs> I'll put my foot in it. <laughs> yeah, Doesn't well, matter, I don't need it, but I thought that was a clever yeah. bit of engineering that they did it the same size as a wheel nut. Yeah, but you were wrong. Oh, <laughs> won't be the first time today. No. Can I go ahead and assemble the other half? I believe you... In much the same way? I believe there's bits to do first. Yep, I did that. Oh, you did it, that. The sub-assembly. Sub-assembly has been thwarted. <laughs> it's actually starting to look much like the off-road buggy it will become. Yeah. I'll move identity. the jam out the way, otherwise we're going to get the front bumper full of jam. Wouldn't be the first time. Certainly wouldn't. I love it when everything just works. No? It's one which of is, my favourite pastimes. Which is so rare at my age. Is it? Yeah. A rarity? Things don't work anymore. Maybe you just gotta try harder. Yeah. Could that be a thing? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't try nothing anymore. Oh, they have medicine ne for that. It needs to be easy. Oh, I've got some of that as well. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> I take until tell if there's a cool breeze. No? <laughs> it's one of the ways. Oh, look at this. I like this. this Did you see the way I offered that up? I know. It could all fall apart because I haven't preloaded my uh, thing. Preloaded my Allen driver. The tongue nearly came out then. Yeah. It didn't. No. But it nearly did. The tongue came out yesterday on the Yokomo build. It. Um, the Phoenix came out the other, the other Friday night. At, did it? At Geelong, on the stand next to him. Oh, I could, I could tell which fun. direction his car was going by where the tongue was. Yeah. Yeah. Big clubby this weekend. I think you should be required to attend for once. Yeah. <laughs> Outdoor, no? Yeah, but it means I've got to be there all day. No, it doesn't. I've got commitments in the afternoon. When yeah. you get to our age, you can do things like that. Yeah. Oh. Uh, where's the top shock mount? It is a there it M10. Is. Yep, They're all, one. yeah. The countersunk on the bottom too, and a button yeah. head on the top. I just have to be very, this is where I have to get my, um, Stick your little washers in. Nan! That's awkward. Yeah. Nan, stop it. The professionalism. It just, yeah, that's just, it just astounds me every yeah. time. Every yeah. time I think what, we're, I we're think doing I, something I, good. I, I should, have turned the, should have turned my phone off like I did. Oh, speaking of professionalism, here's BJ. Hi. Here's BJ with the donuts. Hello. Wow. Look, it's got a cage. Wow. It, it is looks it. cool. I know the tongue's about to come out. You're just Hello. about to witness it. 
I've just got to sandwich two washers in the front shock tower. Ah, uh, yes. We've reached new levels of cooperation today. Have you? Yeah. That comes from practice, doesn't it? You, you have some been... strawberry jam? Oh. It's been... That looks dangerous. It's been quite valuable, actually. You've Is definitely it? stepped up the build game. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I, 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 I felt that I really can't just sit here all the time and just insult you. <laughs> Well, that's fun. what people, well, that, fun that is, is, that's what people want to see. Look, it is enjoyable, but I thought, then I thought, hang on, it's my car and you'll screw it up on here. That looks pretty funky. How nice does it look? I was comparing it to your um, Wild One Blockhead. Oh, yeah? I think we're further along. Oh, yeah. Maybe. That's safe to say. Well, yeah. we're, well, the chances are we're going to finish this. That's, that's a very good family trip. resemblance, is not it? Oh, very much has. Hmm. It's I a like good it. thing. Hmm. Magnificent I'll beast. Leave, I'll leave you to it. Magnificent yeah. beast. What, Bojack? Oh, yes, all right. This one goes here like that. And the little, the thing faces up and these screws go in three by twelves. Getting bigger. Well, it always wants us to put a speedy in next, but we're not gonna do that. We don't need to do that. No. Because we can just drop that in at any time. Yeah, it's gonna go in later. I think we've got a pivot pin and a battery tray will be coming up soon. We yeah. can put that in. We can put sponge tape in. So the, Jungle where's the? Kleberband. Klebenbund. I think that really should go in now before we lose our captured nuts. <laughs> no. I think there's a cream you can get for that as well. No. So where's our battery fuffer? Should be a, this one, the tray. We the can tray. put that in, yeah. yeah the tray and the hinge it. pin. You've got one that, of these at home, haven't this you? This is very, no. I thought you had one. I thought you said you were building one. I wouldn't do that, it's cheating. You give away the magic. Yeah, I think, I think the Giving magic's been the long lost. <laughs> 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 Don't say that, people will think that we're... No, 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 no. We're just saying this for comedic value. Is it? Yeah, well that's the only reason I'm here. So this one goes it's in not here. Like I contributed anything. So this pin goes through here. Now where does it screw into, Mr. Gray? Sponge tape. Oh no, that's no, no. the tray. The tray. I think it's a step. It's, it's just, the, the tray's there. With it's it's tra go back one. Go back no, one. No, it's, it's not there. It must be there. No, the tray just goes in, and there's no indication of the fixings. Yeah. Ah, here. Three by twelve. Three by twelves. Straight into it. Yep. No washers or anything? No. No. Straight in. And there's a big ass pin that goes through the hole yep. at the front. And that was my first interaction with the BBX was that the um, the 2023 Melbourne or Australian Toy and Hobby Fair. Mm. And Tamir Australia had one of these on board. Mm. And they were quite excited the way I approached it and took the body off and whipped the battery out yeah. on camera. I don't think anybody, they're not used to having their <laughs> prod prod <laughs> products handled with such gusto in public. They underestimated you. They did, they didn't, that's why they let me in. That's the battery stopper pin, which I think is over-engineered. No, I've seen you drive. No, that's true. I have seen you drive. I put that in there, it'll stop it flapping. Oh, that does feel. Oh, it's got a nice machine finish, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, that's um, yeah, that's that's definitely got an arousal factor. Look, you can hear the machining on it. Yeah. There's I'm a not name. sure if the mic there's is. There's a name for that sort of machining, but I've forgotten what it is. Quality. Uh, got a little, got the body pin in there, and that is where the battery's going to sit, yeah. right under there. <gasps> J2, up there. We are now officially caged, entering uncharted waters. So what is this screw here in the top? Three by 12 again, countersunk. Jeez, what some big screws, aren't they? I think they're anticipating a fair bit of um, landing on the roof. 3 by 12s in here. Now I'm not doing these ones up tight because I think the cage will probably need to be all sort of done up once it's all together. Because mm. it, may, it may tweak the chassis, although I don't think so. That's pretty, pretty rubbery. Soft. 
Yeah. Just have to be careful because it is quite rubbery, the material. You don't want to go stripping it. You can put that one in. Is that 3 by 12s as That's well? 3 by 12s as well. I'm just making sure it's the right one I've got. No, oh, I, I had it in the wrong one. Because there is a little pin to locate it. We'll call that a locating pin. Okay. It's got a flap. Sun visor. Sun visor? Yeah. Is it facing downward? It is indeed. Okay. It's a, could be more like an aerodynamic aid. Who knows? Look at that. We are bugging. Yeah. We are officially bugging. <laughs> this is a, the best effort we've made in all the building we've done. It's nowhere near as shambolic as do you, think that, do you think we're learning or is it something that's learned? No, I don't think we're capable of that. What's happening here? Why is there arms coming my way? There are arms coming your way because Top arms? that's what it says. Does that mean I get to press my balls again? I wouldn't dare deny you that opportunity. You know, it's one of my favorite, one of my favorite things. Well, you know, we lost a bit, but my fat gut stopped it falling off. How good's that? What, that my fat guts worked? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. See? Don't believe what an ace is. I'll get my Very wife valuable. To watch, watch this and say, see? Very valuable. Valuable asset. They're more than just fat guts. They're, They're also working. part stoppers. Factory fitted. TRF. To me, a racing fat. <laughs> right here. <laughs> You had me at hello. Yeah. We've got some I'm not more. I'm sure where, where I was going with that, but. I don't think anybody did, but it's part of the journey. Yeah. So. That's just what happens when we do, when we build things. I'm just trying to visually get it. So the retaining pins go on the, on the back first. We made mistakes with doing some of this on the MBO one, didn't we? Potentially. Yeah. Ah, oh, was that but a that race? Was different. That was that was raced fine. That yeah. didn't get rebuilt or amended before it hit the track. Maybe it would have been better if we'd left it. Well, I still <laughs> yet to see it turn a lap. Yeah, well. You, you were pretty confident that it was a struggle. Oh, yeah. And you tried to put decent tyres in that sucker too. Huh? It, uh, just, uh, the problem was it just does not have enough steering throw. It's that simple. Uh, simple. Doesn't matter what tyres you put on it, there's just not enough throw. But that doesn't mean it can't be fixed. So I'll give it to someone else to do. And get it back done. Yeah. So we can offer the arms up. Yep. What are these two dots they're talking about? Oh, that's the side that you press it in on. Right. Yep. I sort of shot off the hip there, didn't I? Yeah. You just went for it and you just didn't care. <laughs> Reckless. Yeah. No, no, I look for the shiny part on the mold. So I did in fact look that up. But you can see here, we can have a look on the overhead actually, let's... You can see here how it's a matte finish, and over here there's that shiny mm. ring. That is the side that you want to press in from, because that is going to be the slightly bigger side of the mould. And they know this, and that's why they've put these little dots here, and yep. they refer to it in the book. Well, the little dots are also where the push pins are to push it out of the mould. Push pins? Yep. Are they shiny? The pins are metal. Metal? Yeah. So I know we've got a driver figure here. Will we have a pink helmet? I don't know. That's up for oh, that's up, a, that's up to me, isn't it? Yeah. Are these clips, these caster clips, where are these going? In the front most position, which is handy, because that is nice and easy to install at this mm. part of the build. No, I'd suggest actually they're going... At the rear? Yeah. Well, that's good because now I can practice taking them out for you. Yeah. With my one and a half mil nine steps driver. Which is so versatile, it's also good at doing that. That's right. And even for installing, because. No, it's actually not going to. I need some pliers. Now, what? Like normal pliers? Yeah, Is these it... ones here might be a little bit too wide. Might be. Might not be. Yeah, these ones don't pinch enough. I need little pliers here just to. Let's see if I can get these big fingers in there like that this is the disadvantage of being older and having bigger although your fingers Big are fatter than mine mine are 
tiny by comparison. Jeez. At least they got something going hell, for me. How the hell do you, you put bits together? Look at those big ass hands. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say about guys with big hands? They need big gloves. Big gloves. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. Okay, good. Now I can put the front hinge pin retaining screw on. I was just, I just wanted to derail you there just in case. <laughs> no. I didn't want to lose five minutes of footage. <laughs> if they cut out all the inappropriate stuff, <laughs> <we'd> just, <laughs> nothing. And there'd be an introduction and somewhat of an ending. Yeah. Although, now, although there's still a lot of people watching, so obviously people don't mind it. If this is quite a convenient spot and we're going to start something new, I dare say that we're we should... We're about to move on. Well, next is uh, the front knuckles I'd, and then the shocks. I dare say that we should probably end this episode two here. I think we should. Hey, we don't want to give people too much of a build straight up. They'll think how easy it is to do. Yeah. And in a long... Like, this we've wasn't been too filming hard. for two hours. Oh, easily. Something like that. Maybe like two days. <laughs> we've actually done, achieved a lot. We've done a lot today. Haven't we? <laughs> Far more efficiently than what we had in the past. I can only put that down to your uh, quality of craftsmanship today and your willingness to help. Yeah, as opposed you know? to just sitting here. And have a look at the beautiful steering bell crank. I'm still impressed. Look at that slot. That is competition level grade mm. hardware. Really impressed. Really impressed, Mr. Gray. Well, that has been episode two of the Tamiya BBX build. Tony Gray sits here with his hand, head in his hand. <laughs> Thinking, this so, is my car, I need to drive this. And I think it's going really well. I think it'll so be good. Congratulations this is great. on getting this far. We look forward to episode three. And episode three should finish the rolling chassis off. I believe we'll be. At which point we'll, you'll take the body away. Well, I'll take the body up. tonight. Uh, today or whatever it is right now I've, right. I've lost all sense of time and hopefully i might even be able to bring it in next time fully painted and we can get it all done yeah it, it will need an 80s paint scheme there's no quit although the, what they've done is already an 80s scheme i but think I'm, even a, i'm not one for brown as a color but like a, a brown <laughs> mission brown a brown with a with a heavy <laughs> metallic through it it was like very 70s cool, but yeah, I'm sure you'll come yeah. up with something awesome. I'm Mission Brown, that's, that's his calling to me. I'll call Shane and Blaze to do an interior assessment. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, <yeah. laughs> I'm Brett from Hearns Hobbies, and this has been Tony Gray, and thanks for watching us <laughs> flattle our way through episode two yeah. of the Tamiya BBX build. I'm sure you can get some pills to help you forget it. <laughs> thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.